Hi everyone, this is Z here, and today I'm going to talk to you about Gestalt Principles for Visual Design. It's a term that comes from psychology and it relates to the fact that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. And this is useful because it is a description of how people process visual information. So hopefully you're still with me. No? Yes? You can see it's a matter of perception. Uh, and as data analytics professionals, this is extremely useful because uh, it gives us a couple of uh, rules of thumb uh, to tell us how we can present information in such a way that it's easier to process and people focus their attentions on the areas that we intend them to. So we're going to cover a couple of these Gestalt principles uh, in this video. And we're going to start off with foreground background. That basically says that if you want people to pay attention to the foreground, you need to have a bit of a higher contrast between the foreground and background. Here's an example where this is a simple bar graph where the background is just really badly chosen in terms of color schemes. If you want people to sort of focus on these vertical bars, maybe an improvement could be just remove the color and uh, ask yourself if you really need the arrows, depending on the story they're trying to tell. The second principle is around the principle of simplicity. Um, the brain is a bit lazy, so if you want to tell a story about something increasing or decreasing or comparing things, uh, rather than expect people to do that gymnastics in your head of uh, moving this there, moving that there, uh, it could be easier if you just represent information in the same color, if the difference between the colors don't matter, uh, and all you're trying to do is just say that this is the sort of shape between the highest to the lowest. Now. Next up, we have the principle of similarity, and it says that if you have things that are the same color, people tend to assume that they are part of the same group, um, back to the same chart. Um, let's reintroduce the color. And now you can sort of tell the story that bright red is the highest, and the uh, dark brown seems to be uh, on the tendency of being on the higher end. Um, Next, we have the principle of proximity. It says that if you put stuff next to each other, people also tend to think that it forms a group. So back to this example again, say that this is sales information um, and you have some geographical grouping. Um, you could choose some form of representation, but an easier way of doing it uh, is rather than change the color scheme or introduce shading, maybe just grouping it closer together could already achieve that. Uh, you know, this could be the north region, this could be the south region, and the colors could represent categories or something. Now, the principle of enclosure extends the ideas from earlier and says that if you draw a line bordering groups of visual elements, people again tend to feel that that's some sort of grouping. So uh, in this example, maybe this is north, maybe this is south, maybe the colors represent categories. But perhaps these two categories in this region is covered by the same sales team. So draw a box around it. And uh, now you've uh, created a way of saying there's something special about these two elements. Now, next up, we have the principle of connection that says if you have lines that connect um, visual elements, people tend to see some form of relationship. So back to this chart, uh, if you say, these two categories, even though they are in different regions, maybe they have the same customer base of some sort. Uh, putting an arrow connecting the two will create that kind of attention. But you notice that it's starting to get a bit busy and cluttered. So it really does go back to what is the story that you're trying to tell? Where do you want to draw people's attention to? Which leads me to the final principle that I want to cover, which is the principle of focal points, where if you choose a color scheme, uh, that is highly dissimilar, people tend to focus on that because that's something that really jumps out because it's very different. So same chart as before, maybe it's a bit busy and you don't want people to focus on this box or this line and you just want to say, let's talk about the North region for this particular category. Uh, and you can do that by changing the color scheme and maybe making the border a bit bolder so people's attention gets drawn to this bright blue, which is very different color scheme for everything else. So um, the trick here is that you can actually choose and pick which one makes the most sense for the story that you're trying to tell. 
now i think that was more or less it so hopefully you found this useful uh, and it's given you a couple of ideas that you could apply in your next visualization thanks bye